Welcome to the adventure on Pumlet on W4CY Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Steve Gibb. Gordon Myers. We're from Kill the Robot. Nice, here at Welcome to Rockville. So, you're from Florida. Yeah. Have you ever played Welcome to Rockville? First time playing Welcome to Rockville. Nice. A great time. Super exciting. You know what the good news is? Is that they moved it from Jacksonville to Daytona, so us South Floridians can get here quicker. Yes, <laughs> exactly. We're super excited to be here. What's it like being on the Daytona Speedway playing a festival? Is that, like, wild? Well, it's sort of like a childhood dream come true. You know, I've been here for races before. Right. And I've been here a couple times as a punter, as a you know spectator. The last year I was here, got to see Pantera, which was epic. Nice. And those were all my boys. I love those guys. They're out there doing, they're doing God's work out there. It's right. It's amazing. And, and this is my first time playing Rockville, and, you know, it's like a spiritual experience. I'll never forget where I was, you right. know, in my mind this day. This, you know, it was like, yeah, yeah it's a special day. May 12th will always be a, a good day for me. Go down in infamy. Yeah. And uh, you're Floridian, so you'll, pr- or not, I won't call you a Floridian, but you're from Florida. So oh, you, well, you, you can just call me Florida Man. Florida That's Man. Fine. There you go. <laughs> so I have a trivia question for you I've asked. Almost every band that I've interviewed. Okay. But you guys might get it right easily. Let's hope. Why are the chairs multiple colors in the stands? Because it's the Great American Race? No, but good answer. Wasn't it, wasn't it for the you know what? I know the answer to this question, and I'm, I can't believe I'm... I can't believe I'm... I love totally it. ...totally blank on this. Wait, I thought it was... Pandemic? When it was on... No, no, nope. no, no. no. No, I think it has something to do with when they're moving at a certain speed so they can see certain... Nope. What is it? Tell me. It's for TV, so it looks like the stands are full. So it looks like the stands are full. That's right. I already... And I I knew that. And I was like... The the best thing is, that was my first thought. That makes sense. And I went, no, that can't be it. That's too obvious. I didn't think of what you said. During the pandemic, because there was nobody here... Yeah, and they were filming it, and it when it was, it looks like there's people here. Yeah, so I, when you answered that, you are partially right. Then I take that back. I was wrong because that makes sense. Yeah. But did they do do paint the or get different colors for the pandemic or before? No, we got to figure it was that before. out. No, it was before because I was here for races, and they were colored. Well, there you colors go. back uh, 10 years ago. Well, you know what it is. All the football teams or whoever was playing during that time. Uh-huh. I think they were following the model of this, too. Know. You know? That would make sense. That would make sense. So tell our listeners a little bit about your music, not from a genre standpoint, because I hate that shit, and mm-hmm. you guys are a blend of a bunch of genres anyway, which I love. We were just talking about in the last interview, you know, the gatekeeping days of bullshit that went on, that <laughs> what I grew up with, you know? Yeah. And I just love you can have a band like you guys that can mix all my loves in one music. Yeah, well, the thing is, is like, we're all, you know, not to age ourselves or anything, but we all grew up in the 80s and the 90s. You, musically, that's where a lot of our DNA is. So, you know, we grew up on the Van Halens and the Zeppelins and, and all that stuff, but we also are big MTV kids, so we love Tears for Fears. We love, you know, Killing Joke. We, we just, you know, we, we, all that, everything that was great about the 80s and 90s, like, why can't we bring that vibe back into the heavy genre again where there's yeah. songs, melodies, musicianship, you know, musicianship and really a, 
a desire to create something different for and, once. And how about attitude? Like, attitude is everything. I, I look at like punk bands now specifically, and they don't necessarily have the attitude that punk was started on. Yeah. You know, you had to be from that that know. era. They right. Just don't know. They yeah. Know the climate. They don't know why. What punk was like fighting against. Yes. Yeah. yeah, what social situations brought that out of people? We're about to see it again, though. I think the next phase of punk rock might be very, very interesting. What's interesting about that, okay? I might even piss off some of my friends saying this. <laughs> and, and that is that it's blowing my mind that some of my old school punk band friends somehow became pro-government, which was always the antithesis of Punk. Yes. I share your concern and confusion around that. Yeah. It is. Without mentioning any names. Freaking weird, man. Old school punk rock friends are sometimes in a uh, different t tax bracket now. So they're looking at life and society a little differently. And uh, yeah, you know. Which, that yeah. brings me to another point. I remember being younger and a friend of mine saying to me, I'll never drive a BMW. And I'm like, yeah. When you have the money for it, then let's talk. And that's exactly what you're saying. It's like, it's easy when you, you're broke, homeless, sleeping on some park bench to say, fuck this, and I, I don't want money, you know, blah, 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 blah. and then you grow up. <laughs> exactly. Well, everybody hates rich people, but everybody wants money. And right. And they become a rich person if they're lucky, and they realize it, you know, it ain't all it's cracked up to be. And I always talk about people yeah. don't realize... The boomers were the hippies. So the hippies became the boomers. And the hippies were against the generation that whatever was considered boomer then. So yeah. it just, it happens. It keeps happening. Well, you know what's beautiful, man? Music is still the thing that unites everybody. So 100%. It doesn't matter what side of anything you're on. Everybody's here for the same reasons. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what's cool about Danny Wimmer Festival, because you come here, there's all different types of uh, bands, and there are no outsiders here. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's part of a family. Yeah, because this is bigger than all the bullshit. 100%. And we're in Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Music's the best frickin' therapy for you, the artist, and for me, the listener. Absolutely. And for those of you listening, if you're not uh, familiar with Music Cares, which is the uh, the... Uh, it's the Recording Academy, which is the Grammys, but it's their uh, charitable arm. Right. And, uh, you know, that what they basically do is they help uh, musicians and people in the industry, whether it be touring crew members or people working in production or whatever. But if you are in the music business and you are afflicted or affected by anything from addiction or you need or you need some dental work or whatever, Music Cares is a charity that does what it says it does, gives the money to the right people for the right reasons, and so I don't just want to do my little spot there for music. I, no, I love that because, and especially the last part you said, because I love to promote the type of charities where the money actually goes to charity and not a bunch 100%. of salaries. St. Jude's of the world, you know, there's a few out there that are oh, yeah. legit. Exactly. So, yeah. So that, that is very cool. I'm glad we're putting that out there. Absolutely. And so what can we expect here at Welcome to Rockville? What do we expect from you guys uh, as a well, band? Well, Kill the Robot is a new band. None of us are new to being in bands, but you know, I, I've got a history of uh, I've been in bands like Black Label Society, Crowbar, Kingdom of Sorrow, Josta, Saigon Kick. So I, I've been at this Now while. you're dating yourself. Now I'm Saigon, dating myself. Saigon kick. Now you're dating yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jason. Shout out to Phil. Guys, yeah, those are my dudes. Yeah, and Gordon right here, he's been. Yeah, you know, we're veterans. We're, we're, we're music veteran veterans. Music so. veterans from South Florida. And, you know, we're, we're getting ready to release our full-length record soon. We've got about five songs on Spotify right now. We're getting ready to release the full-length and. Stream them. Yes, stream the music. And it's going to be a great year for, for rock and metal, especially if we have anything to do with it. That's JP over there. JP, come on over come here. Come on down. Introduce yourself. Boom, he's here. Yeah. Say hello to JP Espiritu Santo. He's the drummer. Hey, guys. What's up? How hey. you doing? Hey, how's it going? You're here on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Oh, man, we're having such a great time. What a cool festival. I know, right? Yeah, Isn't it? Just all around, everybody else. 
all the workers have been so sweet and nice. And Should we ask him the trivia question? Yeah, let's see if he Okay. Can. We're asking a trivia question. I've asked pretty much all the bands. And since... And you're from Florida, too, right? Born and raised in Miami. There you go. So you have an obligation to get it right because you're from Florida, okay? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Why are the chairs different colors in the stands here at the Daytona International Speedway? Honestly, I thought there were people when I first arrived. <laughs> That's the reason, too. <laughs> it's so when it's televised, it looks like the stadium's full. Cool. There we go. How about that? Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada <laughs> boom. I think you guys should also do like a side show here at Daytona because you're from Florida where you drive around the track and play. That would be great. Would that be cool get, as that hell? That would be cool. Maybe we can do this next year, Rockville? Yeah, bring it up to Danny. That You'll be the, the rolling... Speedway band the, on the rolling stage. Yeah. That would be a cool idea, that would like be a cool. rolling stage. Kill the robot going in circles. Yeah. Not, <laughs> and you could have a robot driving it. That would be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could only trust one of those. I know, right? <laughs> Isn't it funny? When we grew up, I, I was like, man, the machines are going to take over, and now we're living it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they would take over more, you know dangerous things like manufacturing and agriculture but instead they're just messing with art and music right which is like really i don't even get the idea of using ai to make music because music's creativity so like i think you need the human element yeah but not everybody cares about the same things for the same reasons like, not everybody even listens to music for the same reasons anymore oh you know you know Somebody was telling me, and it's true, they've actually changed how you write songs now to appeal to today's ADD squirrel yeah. <laughs> mentality. Well, I have it on pretty good authority that there are a lot of records being made with AI right now. ChatGPT is writing a lot of lyrics for people. I believe it. Hence, that's why we're called Kill the Robot. I love it. I love it. See? Everything was written by humans, played by humans, and what a enjoyed concept. by humans. Yeah, you know, I thought it was bad enough in the 80s where you had bands coming out that nobody played instruments and they were just playing the synthesizers and, pu and pushing buttons, but now we're in a whole other world. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I'm hoping that comes back. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what would be nice? You know, just like, you know how, like, you know, there are certain, certain people get paid more than certain other people in the world for weird reasons? Yeah. How about we start giving some of that money to the DJs and their USB sticks? Like, and I mean, all due respect to DJs, there's some badasses out there. But those, those guys, they, they make a lot of money for plugging a USB stick into a computer. <laughs> Come on back to the real music, people. We're here. We're ready for you. And I don't get it, too, like, what, in what you're talking about. Like, how do these people think they're going to a concert, going to see a DJ? Like... If I want to go see DJ, I'm going to South Beach. I'm not going to a music festival in Okeechobee yeah. to watch some. But it just blows my mind. I see all these people, and like they, they think they're at a real concert. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Right? They really are. <laughs> <laughs> so what else do you guys got going on after Rockville or any news you want to give people, things you want them to know? Yeah, we got our record coming out here this summer. And, yeah, we're going to be hitting the road in the fall. And those, all that will be announced uh, on our Instagram, TikTok. It's Kill the Robot Band at Kill the Robot Band, and uh, Spotify. We are Kill the Robot, and we're, yeah, we're we're all about it, and we're coming to see you. So I love it. Keep an eye and an ear out for us. All right. Well, you you guys are badass, and you're homeboys for me, so that makes it even better. And I thank you for being here at Welcome to Rockville and making it the best festival ever just because you're here. Thank you, Pipe Man, for inviting us to come have a chat with you. This has been, you know, a day to remember forever. So thank you for everything, brother. I, I love that. You. I love that pun, too, right there. Thanks for being on the Adventures, Pipe Man. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man. On W4CY Radio.